Hello everyone. In today's module, we will review percentage rent and how to enter sales within our solution. A percentage rent is a type of rent that is based on a percentage of the tenant sales. It is typically used in the retail industry and is often included as a provision in a commercial lease agreement. Under a percentage rent agreement, the tenant agrees to pay the landlord a certain percentage of their sales in addition to the base rent for the property. The percentage is typically set in the lease agreement and is usually triggered when the tenant sale exceed a certain threshold known as the breakpoint. To be able to calculate the percentage rent, you will need the base rent, the percentage of the sale specified in the lease agreement, the breakeven point, and the tenant's total sales generated during the period covered by the percentage rent calculation. To generate the percentage rent calculation, you must first enter your internal and external categories. To do so, click on the admin menu and then click sales. Click on internal category. And here you'll be able to add any category according to the type of sale you have, whether you are selling cars, trucks, drinks, or clothes, for example. To add a new internal category, click on the plus button. Then you must select your priority, if applicable, and your internal sale title in English and in French. For example, you could choose to enter close. Once you've entered it, simply click on save. Since we've already entered it, as you can see here, it appears on our list. You can then click on the three dots under the action column of the category you just added and click on the edit internal sale subcategories. Since we have added clothes, we can now add t-shirt and sweater as a subcategory. In order to do so, you'll be able to click on the plus button and add your category as well in English and in French. Once you've added all the information, you can go ahead and click on save. Then you will need to add your external categories. In order to do so, go in the admin menu under sales and click on external category. Here, you can add clothes once again by clicking on the plus button and determining the name of your external sale category. Once you're done, you can go ahead and click save. Once you've added your category, you can go ahead under the action menu, click on the three dots and select edit sales subcategory. As you can see here, you can add your subcategories and you can add as many as you wish. We have added sweater and t-shirt and if you would want to add a new one, simply click on the plus button, name your external subcategory, select your internal sale category and then your internal sales subcategory. In our case, what we did is we added sweater and we linked it to clothes and a sweater as well. Once you're done, you can go ahead and close this. Make sure to always click save if you add a new category. When all your internal and external categories have been added, you can now add your sales by going into the premise that you have created. Once you've selected your premise, you can go ahead and click on the sales tab. Here you have two options. You can either enter your sales manually or upload a template which will automatically generate your sales in the system. For this example, we will add a few sales manually. So you can go ahead and click on the plus button, select your external category and your external subcategory, and you can add the total number of sales, for example, $50,000. You can also add the dates for those sales, we will select the year 2020, and you can also add any notes or upload a document relating to this sale. Once you've entered the information, you can go ahead and click Save. You can repeat this process by clicking plus again. 
and selecting a different subcategory, such as sweater. You once again have to enter the total number of sales for the year you previously selected. And then you can go ahead and click on save again. If you click here on the plus, you will see all the sales that you have done for the year 2020, 2020 January 1st to December 31st, 2020. If you want to add any more sales, you can continue to do so by clicking on the plus button right here. Once done, you can go to a percentage run tab in the lease section. You must first add your conditions to be able to calculate your percentage rent. In order to do so, click on the plus sign next to conditions. Here you can add your dates. And then you can click on next. You can also add any exclusions by clicking on close, for example, and selecting what exclusion you want to apply. If you don't have any exclusions, you can simply uncheck the box and click next. You can then select your rules by clicking on the plus sign. Here you can select your category as close. Your subcategory as t-shirt. your adjustment frequency, and your payment frequency. You can also select your expense categories and your charge expense categories. Keep in mind that your expense categories are categories for which you want to include payment under provisional rent, while your charge expense categories are the categories you want to be able to create a percentage rent for and include in a payment adjustment. You can then select your break even point. As a reminder, there are two different break even points. You have the artificial break even point, which would be based on a set number previously agreed to in the lease, while the natural break even point will be based on a point percentage. Let's select an artificial break even point. You can also select a minimum or a maximum amount per year that will be paid in percentage rent. You can then add your brackets, which will allow you to determine what percentage would be applied to a dollar amount of sales. In our example, all sales above $50,000 will have a percentage of 2.5%. And once they exceed $50,000, we can add a percentage of 3%. All amounts that exceed $50,000, you'll need to add a new bracket and toggle the menu here, but still add your percentage within the system. This will mean that all sales above $50,000 will have a percentage rent of 3% applied to them. Once all the details have been added, you can click on save. And you can click close. As you can see, your condition tab will now be updated. Calculate your percentage rent an active lease is required. So let's go ahead and activate our lease by clicking the active button in the action menu. Let's go ahead and calculate a percentage rent and create a period by clicking on the plus button. As you can see, you will be prompted to enter your dates once again. Once you're done, you can go ahead and click on save and generate. As you can see here, the system has created your percentage rent. And if you click on the plus button, you'll have all the details, such as your applicable sales, your cumulative overage sales, your percentage rent, and many other details, including the balance that you have at the end. Our system allows you to easily see what the balance is based on the rules and condition that you have previously added within the system. In this module, we have learned how to generate percentage rent sales reports based on our categories we entered in our admin panel, 
our rules and our conditions.